the most important thing you can do with geometric sequences is find the common ratio. This common ratio becomes really, really, really important. So suppose that we find that we get a sequence of 2, 10, 50, 250, 1250, dot, 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 and so on. To find R, we simply take any two terms, and we divide 1 by the 1 just before it. So I like to grab the second term and the first term, just because it's easy, and that's 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And notice if I multiply 10 by 5, I get 50. 50 times 5 is 250. So this is my common ratio. I could do the same thing if it's dividing by the same amount each time, minus 54, minus 18, minus 6, minus 2, dot, dot, dot. Now the easiest ones here, it looks like to me, because you can pick any of them, would be these two. And I'm, so I'm going to take R is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to take A5 divided by A4, which is minus 2 divided by minus 6, which is 2 6, which is 1 3rd. So my ratio is allowed to be a fraction, and in this case it means I'm dividing by 3 each time. And notice that that holds up. If we take 162 negative divided by 3, that gives me 54. If I do it again, I get 18, 6, 2, and so on down the sequence. And so it's perfectly acceptable to have a fraction as our common ratio. And that's that's how we find our common ratio. Pick any two terms that are adjacent and divide the later one by the one just before it.